A couple weeks ago, I got the idea to start building a solar-powered airplane. The biggest challenge here is mounting the polycrystalline solar cells in the wing because they are not flexible and extremely fragile. I designed wing ribs with holes for carbon tubes spaced out perfectly so that the solar cells could rest on top of them. After receiving these CNC cut ribs, I started assembling the wing skeleton. The main spar is made from 1 meter square carbon tube segments that bolt together with these angle brackets. This gives the wing some polyhedral. My original plan was to make a 2 meter wing with dihedral, but I had enough parts and materials to add a middle section. This puts the total span at 114.5 inches, or 9.5 feet, or 2.9 meters. The wing's carbon skeleton alone weighs 19 ounces, or 538 grams. Not bad for a 9.5 foot span. The spars are connected with bolts going through holes in them, but drilling the holes in the ends of the carbon made them crack, so I had to add some reinforcement. If I ever use this method again in the future, I'll design the spar connection mechanism much better. Installing and soldering the solar cells is tedious work, but I got it done. Here you can see the wing is powering a 50 watt halogen bulb with no problem. I then realized that there could be short circuits between the solar cells, because they are mounted directly to the carbon, and carbon is very conductive. Even though the wing seems to be putting out enough power, I decided to remove all the solar cells and insulate the carbon. This took a very long time. I used liquid electrical tape for the ribs and spar, and paper held on with CA for the thin tubes because it offers more strength than liquid electrical tape once the cells are glued back on. To attach the cells, I used hot glue to tack them in place. I purchased pre-tabbed solar cells, so I only had to solder to the bottom, not the top. This made it easier, but it was still a really time-consuming process. All the panels on each half of the wing are connected in series. Then, each half is connected in parallel to each other. Mounting and soldering the cells without cracking them is no easy task, because they are about as durable as a thin sheet of glass. Once everything was put back together, I glued the cells in with canopy glue and began covering the wing. I used clear, Solite covering film. It weighs about 20 grams per square meter and is almost totally transparent. However, when I held the wing up to the sun, I could tell from the shadow on the ground that some light is being blocked. It also has some glare to it, so I'm really hoping it doesn't make the solar panels too much less efficient. I haven't used covering film much, so it was difficult to work with at first, but I eventually got the hang of it. I was really pleased with how the covering film turned out. It's really smooth. I built the ailerons out of 3mm Depron and put a 3mm carbon rod in them. They are controlled with 9 gram servos that are glued to the ribs. The whole wing, finished and ready to fly, weighs 2.6 pounds, or 1.19 kilograms. The fuselage is made from 6mm Depron, square balsa tubes, and carbon tubes to hold the tail. I'm using a 5010 360kV motor with an RC Manchild 30 amp ESC. I was trying to keep the tail as light as possible because there won't be much weight in the front, as large batteries are not needed. The horizontal stabilizer is made from 3mm Depron, reinforced with carbon, and the vertical stabilizer is 6mm Depron. I ended up covering the carbon tubes in the back with foam to increase stiffness and decrease drag. With a park flyer receiver and no battery or FPV, the fuselage weighs 1 pound, or 467 grams. It is 70 inches or 1.8 meters long. To get the center of gravity right, I added a 3000 mAh 3 cell LiPo and a 500 mAh 3 cell LiPo to power the receiver and servos. These added 9 ounces, or 255 grams. This puts the total weight of the fuselage at 1.6 pounds, or 725 grams. For the maiden flight, I used the 3000 mAh 3 cell to power the motor, and the solar cells were not connected to anything. The total combined weight is 4.2 pounds, or 1.9 kilograms. It flies pretty slow and is very docile. The 5010 motor and 17 inch prop offer just enough power. I'll be upgrading to an 18 inch prop soon. Now that we know it flies, the real question is whether or not the solar panels will supply enough power to sustain flight. If they do, I'll use them to run the motor directly. If not, I'll have to figure out a way to have them charge the batteries in flight. Stay tuned for the next video on this project coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.